Okay, guys, here we go. First time opening City Skylines 2. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Um, like I said in the previous video, I haven't watched any content. I purposely didn't look at any reviews. I want this to be an open and honest opinion of me playing the game. I'm excited. Let's hope it, uh, it works out. And that's my guess. Oh, it's loud. Oh, it's really loud. Oh yeah, there we go. Now, I am noticing... That it's a little bit slow. Um... Let's just see, what can I do to... Let's just disable this, I mean graphics high. Just put these on medium for now. New game! Ooh! So I got the deluxe edition, so I have like two extra maps. I believe those are the San Francisco map and the Tempery, Temper, whatever this map is. So I get to choose between maps. Archipel Heaven, a lot of islands, that's pretty cool. Barrier Island. Oh, this actually is European. 8 to 30 degrees, that's nice. 16% buildable areas. Ooh, ore. Oil, nice. Barrier Island. Okay, Great Highlands. Well, that's Scotland for sure. Lakeland. Again, my cat. So I just got back from uh, Croatia, so that's why he's meowing like that. Mountain Village. Ooh, this looks really cool. Look at that. You can build some amazing trails in here. River Delta. Eh. San Francisco. Oh, it's a Golden Gate Bridge. Sweeping Plains. Ooh, this looks pretty as well. Temporary temp. I don't know how to pronounce that, but whatever. Twin Mountain. Some snowy peaks. Water Pass. Windy Fjords. I'm gonna go for this. Uh, I am gonna be very original. Uh, Nymtopia 2.0. <laughs> it is European. Natural disasters are on. Left handed traffic. No, thank you. Um, don't want unlimited money, I want to play it for real. Uh, yeah, please start with tutorials so I know what to do. Welcome to City Skylines 2. This is the place to build the city of your dreams. Take on in-depth challenges uh, of managing city services and directing traffic and flow and following the life of your citizens. Tutorials are here to guide you as you take on your first steps to building a, towards building a city. As you progress, more hints and guidance becomes available in case you need it. It's just on this side of the roundabout. Oh look, I can make it shift it. Okay, I build a road. I don't want to bulldoze my roads, I just build it. Um, I don't think I'm actually quite happy with the way this looks yet, so let me just... These are the demands, so that they're pretty good. I do have... I have no power. We're hiring. That's pretty cool. Mason jar. Electricity. Variety of electricity. All right, let me just pause this so I can read it. A coal power plant, high voltage, generates a lot of pollution. Wind turbine. Ooh. 
Oh, it's right on the weather, of course, so it could be a great source. Outside source can be imported. Buying electricity. Oh, so that's more expensive. Oh. Choose a source of electricity. Oh, oh no, what did I do? Oh wait. Okay, that was weird. Do I have any wind? How can I see where I produce? Oh wait, wind. It's not coming above one. Well, so I'm obviously not going to go for that, so I guess I'm going to go to coal plants. Uh, I don't... I could place this in my industrial area. How much pollution does it give? Air and ground. I could just place it, you know, here. Place it a little bit to the edge of the map. I don't want it too close to the water. How do I... Ro oh, I rotate with right mouse button, okay. It's funny that I can just place it, like not necessarily on the roads, but just here. That's pretty cool. Let's place it there. And then it needs a road to get through there, so I guess this is like the road option. And you know, let's just connect it. Was it not a 90 degree angle? Funny. Okay, but now we have power, right? Building a, a power plant. Okay, so now I have power. Oh, it's connected through the roads! How do I... There. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how to read these. Look at that, it's all connected. I have power lines going under the roads. That's really cool. Oh, and then when I reach the end of my city, the power also stops. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, well now... Um, people are gonna build, right? No, because I need water. I need to build any... Oh, they have plumbing in built as well. Look at that, the plumbing is there. That's so cool. It's already in the road. So then, I need sewage. Notifications, I would have so to highlight different situations. Okay. Now I need sewage. Sewage is something I want to have on the other side. I mean, we can place this with our coal. There you go. This will probably need a road as well. So what if I just... There, and then it has a road. See the roads utility network. Okay, I've done that. I haven't done that. How do I do that?
So now it is connected. Okay, I for one am very confused by this. Let's just delete that little bit. Apparently now it's all correct. Except that this doesn't have power. Power line is not connected. What does it need to be? It seems to be working. This one's also not connected. So you know what? We'll just leave it at that. High rent. Bill the building's occupants have trouble paying the rent. A high zone residential, different zoning might be needed. That's not my fault, therefore. Well, it kind of is because it's my city. Okay. They're building, right? They're not building very fast, are they? Wait, right, there's the first house. So they need more low residential. So. Press I, this thing leaves. I'm just going to zone this for now.
Milestone 1. Your efforts are bearing fruit and your city is taking its first step towards success. 600,000 euros, a star, and three green diamonds. Okay, aggression panel. Let's just pause it. I can do a low now, which I don't want. Ooh, I unlock map tiles. A city budget, city statistics, uh, EU medium dense houses. NA North America? Yeah. Roads, roads, roads. Ooh, healthcare. Garbage. Oh, so this is everything that I can't. Ooh, oh, wow. Okay. Um, this tracks the amount of XP. I'll receive money. I've got oh, development points. City border. Okay, so these are my achievements. My first city developments. The development points. Basic services will be automatically unlocked when you reach a milestone. To develop and grow further, unlock the next item along the tree. The development process will reward each new milestone. You can focus on specific types of city development by spending your points. Okay, so roundabouts. Roundabouts are pretty good. Road surface. Oh, traffic lights. Hmm. Roadside decorations, parking areas. I oh, can't do that yet. Electricity. Emergency gas. Wait, this is all something I need to pay for. Oh. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, why isn't it just unlocked? Do I buy... Because I need to expand now very fast. So do I buy roundabouts to allow the traffic to flow more smoothly? Or do I go for the road maintenance service? The traffic lights and signs. If I get the traffic road maintenance service, then I probably unlock these. So I guess I'll unlock this. Okay. That's reasonably weird, I have to say. So now I, I can expand my city, am I right? Where do I do that? Oh, look, I'm level one. Map tiles. Select tiles with left, with right, natural resources, purchasing, yes. Oh! Oh, I can even buy a tile that's not connected. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is really big. That's what she said. <laughs> There's an arrow there. I didn't pay attention to what resources I actually bought. That's a little bit stupid. But that's fine. Healthcare. Okay, so they need a medical clinic now. A medical clinic, okay. Where would we like to have this? I actually, ideally... <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing like an idiot. Ideally, I would have it um, somewhere reasonably central. So probably alongside here. Just like that. Oh, look, they're happy with it. Death care. Wait, I already have a cemetery. Well, that's nice. Oh, that's a really big cemetery. Let's place this here, alongside the water. I'm sorry for your houses, but they're gonna get destroyed. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? You can be buried by the water pumpkin station. Yikes. All right, they need road connections. It's not quite fitting, is it? I don't know what I feel about having these two junctions that close together. I 
going to just leave that in. Just do it like that. Because I've heard in City Skylines too, you can actually have car accidents and I don't want that to be like two junctions right there. And then while we're at it, this road is not that nice as well. There's a problem here with dead people. I suppose that is a problem. You can buy a mausoleum. I can just connect that to it, that's pretty cool. You know what, let's build a mausoleum as well. Ooh, my expenses are more than my income. Are they? Yeah. We'll see. Probably um, the first time I ever play this game, my city will go bankrupt just like the first time I ever made a City Skylines video. So, whatever. So these are like bungalow styles. I'm not sure. Um, what country they think they've built this from because they definitely don't look something uh, that I know is European I mean these houses look a little bit Scandinavian to me, but I Still feel like they're the American style what they think look what, what the Americans think Europe looks like Oh, Milestone unlocked Taxation finally Highway roads, parking areas. I really have to start thinking about these, don't I? Water treatment plants. A hospital. Incineration or recycling. Where would I go for a college? I'd probably go for a college. Then I only have one point left, so I don't know. Well, I'll go for a roundabout. I have no clue. I'm sorry. <laughs> really? Oh, a pop musician's mansion. The terrace of this house is perfect for parties. The pops that are living here to come to through <laughs> near the cemetery. No, let's not do that. I'll probably let him live like somewhere over here in this little island. So I can't really have him living there. Uh, what I was gonna do, what was I gonna do? Yeah, I was gonna look at our new, look, small apartment buildings. I wanna have a few apartment buildings uh, lined up here by the sea. Just a few. Although, hang on, not here, not there. I mean, if he likes to throw parties, what if I have him like this little angle of the uh, the island? Or give him like this and then, oops. And then we can uh, like pretend like he owes the entire bit of lands right there it's like that so you will need a road just so you know that the guy living here is fancy because he has all these trees on his driveway and they're oak trees right oh there's chestnuts so you know he'll free nuts in autumn and he will never share them with any of the children. Okay, large village. Surface budgets, finally, livestock farming. Mine stoning, fire resource, firehouse. Now I have three development points available. Mm -hmm. 
fire station is pretty good though. Yeah, let's just go for the fire station here. And I have one point. Um, this is really nice. Like a welfare office. That's good. There we go. Now let's have a look at our budget. Surfaces. Thank you. The roads don't need to be on such a high budget. Healthcare does not need to be on such a high budget. Garbage does not seem to be that, that high of a budget. Education could be on the lower side of our budget. Okay, healthcare is still... Let's just turn everything on 50. Surface fee go up of 50. Oh wait, that's not. That was not smart. This is what I'm missing, like the little... This, I want to be able to open this and that, because now I don't know. Do we need, whatever, garbage management can go low. Education can go low. Fire rescue, let's just put it all down here. And still, I'm in the minus. <laughs> okay. Now well, let's build. Oops, some firehouses. Um. Ideally, we'd probably want this here. As a police station, I'd like that to be... There. And our welfare office. We'll figure out a place for that later. We should probably connect these up. So perhaps our welfare office just not available there, but we could place it here. Or actually, we can place it here. Near the school. Just like that. Now, people aren't building here. Why is that? Clearly can. I meanwhile I've been recording almost an hour and a half. My goodness. I think I'm just gonna build the last few roads to be able to connect this. And then I think um we're just gonna say that's it for now. I mean, I think we've done some pretty amazing... Well, not... I'm not gonna lie, we haven't done amazing things, okay? We just, we haven't. Uh, but we have explored the way the game works. And uh, relatively happy with that. I do think it's a little bit more complicated than uh, City Skylines 1. I also think, uh, graphic-wise, it's definitely not the prettiest, and I don't mean that in a harsh way. 
it just isn't. Uh, there are a lot of options in here though, so that's pretty good. Um, and it's probably just gonna take some getting used to. But for now, I don't think this is the worst city I've ever built. That being said, our budget is still going downhill, so we're probably gonna lose out this city and um, start again in a few uh, tries. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what's gonna happen. But that's fine, doesn't really matter. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up, a like. If you have CD Skylines 2 uh, and you'd like to give your opinion about it, give it in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of the game. Perhaps there are some things that I've missed that you like. Hey Nim, why didn't you show us this? Don't you know that this is in the game? Let me know in the comments down below, because as I said, I haven't watched anything about this game. Oh no, a car, a car accident. Is that here? It's here the car accident, no car accident, so... Oh well, that's a bum recent car accident. I don't see where it is. Oh well. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you on the next episode. Bye!